The Philokalia, ancient Greek, Philokalia, love of the beautiful, the good, from philia philia, love, and kalos kalos, beauty, is a collection of texts written between the 4th and 15th centuries by spiritual masters of the Eastern Orthodox Church mystical Hesychast tradition. They were originally written for the guidance and instruction of monks in the practice of the contemplative life. The collection was compiled in the 18th century by Nicodemus the Hagiorite and Macarius of Corinth. Although these works were individually known in the monastic culture of Greek Orthodox Christianity before their inclusion in the Philokalia, their presence in this collection resulted in a much wider readership due to its translation into several languages. The earliest translations included a Church Slavonic language translation of selected texts by Pasius Velichkovsky in 1793, a Russian translation by Ignatius Brian Kanonov in 1857, and a five-volume translation into Russian by Theophan the Recluse in 1877. There were subsequent Romanian, Italian, French, German, Spanish, Finnish, and Arabic translations. The book is a principal spiritual text for all the Eastern Orthodox churches. The publishers of the current English translation state that, The Philokalia has exercised an influence far greater than that of any book other than the Bible in the recent history of the Orthodox Church. Philokalia, sometimes Philokalia is also the name given to an anthology of the writings of Oregon compiled by Basil of Caesarea and Gregory of Nazianzus. Other works on monastic spirituality have also used the same title over the years. History Nicodemos and Makarios were monks at Mount Athos, a mountainous peninsula in northern Greece, historically considered the geographical center of Orthodox spirituality and home to twenty monasteries. The first edition, in Greek, was published in Venice in 1782, with a second Greek edition published in Athens in 1893. All the original texts were in Greek. Two of them were first written in Latin and translated into Greek in the Byzantine era, Pasius Velichkovsky's translation into Church Slavonic, Dobrotolubli published in Moscow in 1793, included selected portions of the Philokalia, and was the version that the pilgrim in the way of a pilgrim carried on his journey. That book about a Russian pilgrim who is seeking advice on interior prayer helped popularize the Philokalia and its teachings in Russia. Velichkovsky's translation was the first to become widely read by the public, away from the monasteries—helped by the popularity of The Way of a Pilgrim, and the public influence of the Startsy at Optina Monastery known as the Optina Elders. Two Russian-language translations appeared in the 19th century, one by Ignatius Briankaninov and Theophan the Recluse's Dobrotolubiya the latter was published in five volumes, and included texts that were not in the original Greek edition. Velichkovsky was initially hesitant to share his translation outside of the Optina monastery walls. He was concerned that people living in the world would not have the adequate supervision and guidance of the Startsy in the monastery, nor would they have the support of the liturgical life of the monks. He was finally persuaded by the Metropolitan of St. Petersburg to publish the book in 1793. Briankanovov expressed the same concerns in his work, warning his readers that regular practice of the Jesus Prayer, without adequate guidance, could potentially cause spiritual delusion and pride, even among monks. Their concerns were contrary to the original compiler of the Philokalia, Nicodemos, who wrote that the Jesus Prayer could be used to good effect by anyone, whether monastic or layperson. All agreed that the teachings on constant inner prayer should be practiced under the guidance of a spiritual teacher, or starets. The first partial English and French translations in the 1950s were an indirect result of the Bolshevik Revolution, which brought many Russian intellectuals into Western Europe. T. S. Eliot persuaded his fellow directors of the publishing house Faber and Faber to publish a partial translation into English from the Theophan Russian version, which met with surprising success in 19. 
A more complete English translation, from the original Greek, began in 1979 with a collaboration between G. E. H. Palmer, Callistos Ware, and Philip Sherard. They released four of the five volumes of the Philokalia between 1979 and 1995. In 1946, the first installment of a ten-volume Romanian translation by Father Dumitru Staniloi appeared. In addition to the original Greek text, Staniloi added, "...lengthy original footnotes of his own." as well as substantially expanding the coverage of texts by Maximus the Confessor, Simeon the New Theologian, and Gregory Palamas. This work is 4,650 pages in length. Writings by the Trappist monk Thomas Merton on Hesychasm also helped spread the popularity of the Philokalia, along with the indirect influence of J. D. Salinger's Franny and Zoe, which featured the way of a pilgrim as a main plot element. Topic. Teachings The collection's title is The Philokalia of the Niptic Fathers, or more fully The Philokalia of the Neptic Saints Gathered from Our Holy Theophoric Father, through which, by means of the philosophy of ascetic practice and contemplation, the intellect is purified, illumined, and made perfect. Niptic is an adjective derived from the Greek nipsis or nepsis referring to contemplative prayer and meaning. Watchfulness. Watchfulness in this context includes close attention to one's thoughts, intentions, and emotions, with the aim of resisting temptations and vain and egoistic thoughts, and trying to maintain a constant state of remembrance of God. There are similarities between this ancient practice and the concept of mindfulness as practiced in Buddhism and other spiritual traditions. The Philokalia teachings have also influenced the revival of interior prayer in modern times through the centering prayer practices taught by Thomas Keating and Thomas Merton. Philokalia is defined as the love of the beautiful, the exalted, the excellent, understood as the transcendent source of life and the revelation of truth. In contemplative prayer, the mind becomes absorbed in the awareness of God as a living presence, as the source of being of all creatures and sensible forms. According to the authors of the English translation, Callistos Ware, G. E. H. Palmer, and Philip Sherard, the writings of the Philokalia have been chosen above others because they show the way to awaken and develop attention and consciousness, to attain that state of watchfulness which is the hallmark of sanctity. They describe the conditions most effective for learning what their authors call the art of arts and the science of sciences, a learning which is not a matter of information or agility of mind but of a radical change of will and heart leading man towards the highest possibilities open to him, shaping and nourishing the unseen part of his being, and helping him to spiritual fulfillment and union with God. The Philokalia is the foundational text on Hesychasm. Quietness an inner spiritual tradition with a long history dating back to the Desert Fathers. The practices include contemplative prayer, quiet sitting, and recitation of the Jesus Prayer. While traditionally taught and practiced in monasteries, Hesychasm teachings have spread over the years to include laymen. Nicodemos, in his introduction, described the collected texts as a mystical school of inward prayer which could be used to cultivate the inner life and to attain the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. While the monastic life makes this easier, Nicodemus himself stressed that unceasing prayer should be practiced by all. The Hesychasm teachings in the Philokalia are viewed by Orthodox Christians as inseparable from the sacraments and liturgy of the Orthodox Church, and are given by and for those who are already living within the framework of the Church. A common theme is the need for a spiritual father or guide. Topic: <inaudible> Timeline of editions and translations. 4th 15th centuries the original texts are written by various spiritual masters. Most are written in Greek, two are written in Latin and translated into Greek during Byzantine times. 1782 First Edition, Greek, published in Venice, compiled by Nicodemos and Makarios. 
1793 Church Slavonic translation of selected texts, Dobrotolubli, by Pasius Velichkovsky, published in Moscow. This translation was carried by the pilgrim in the way of a pilgrim. First to be read outside of monasteries, with a strong influence on the two following Russian translations. 1857 Russian language translation, by Ignatius Briankaninov. 1877 Russian language translation, by Theophan the Recluse, included several texts not in the Greek original, and omitted or paraphrased some passages. 1893 Second Greek edition, published in Athens, included additional texts by Patriarch Callistos. 1946–1976In 1946–1946, the first installment of a ten-volume Romanian translation by Father Dumitru Staniloi appeared. 1951–1954 First partial English translations by E. Kadlubovsky and G. E. H. Palmer in two volumes, Writings from the Philokalia on Prayer of the Heart and Early Fathers from the Philokalia. These were translated from Theophane's Russian version, and published by Faber and Faber. 1953, Small Philokalia is published in French, Petite Philokalie de la Prière du Coeur, ed. Jean Gouillard, Points, Sagesses. 1957 1963, Third Greek edition, published in Athens by Astur Publishing Company in five volumes. Modern English translation based on this edition. 1963 Parts of the Philokalia is published in Italian for the first time La Philokalia. Testi di Ascetica e Mystica della Chiesa Orientale, Giovanni Vanucci, Libreria Editrice Fiorentina, Firenze 1965 First translation of selected texts from Philokalia is published in Finnish by name Sisinen Kaunius. Rukusta Koskevia Poimintoja Philokaliasta. Inner Beauty. Selected texts from the Philokalia on Prayer, from German translation of Kleiner Philokali. The translation was made by Iringa Nikonen and it was published by Pi Hein Sergin Ja Hermannen Velgeskunta. Brotherhood of STS. Sergius and Hermann. 1979–1995 English translation by Callistos Ware, G. E. H. Palmer, and Philip Sherard, of the first four of the five Greek volumes, from the third Greek edition. This was published by Faber and Faber. 1981–1993 A Finnish translation was made from the original Byzantine Greek text by Valamon Ustavat Rai Friends of Valamo Monastery Registered Association in four volumes. Translation was made by Nun Christodjili, Iringa Nikonen and Matti Jeskanen. An appendix fifth volume by Nun Christodjili was published at 1998. 1982–1987 An Italian translation by M. Benedetta Artioli and M. Francesca Lovato of the community of Monteveglio and P. Gribaudi is published in Turin in four volumes. 1988 Little Philokalia on Prayer of Heart Piccola Philokalia della Preghiera del Cuore in Italian is translated by Jean Guillard and published in Milan 1998 A Polish translation of Philokalia by Joseph Naumowicz is published in Kraków. Contents <inaudible> 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 This listing of texts is based on the English translation of four volumes by Bishop Callistos Ware, G. E. H. Palmer, and Philip Sherard. The fifth volume has yet to be published in English. Some works in the Philokalia are also found in the Patrologia Graecae and Patrologia Latina of J. P. Minya. Volume 1 Saint Isaiah the Solitary and Guarding the Intellect, 27 texts Cesagrius the Solitary Outline Teaching on Asceticism and Stillness in the Solitary Texts on Discrimination in Respect of Passions and Thoughts Extracts from the Texts on Watchfulness On Prayer, 153 texts. John Cassianin the Eight Vices On the Holy Fathers of Scetus and on Discriminationst
Mark the ascetic on the spiritual law, 200 texts On those who think that they are made righteous by works, 226 texts Letter to Nicholas the Solitarist. Hesychios the priest and watchfulness and holiness. Nilos the ascetic ascetic discoursist. Diadokos of Photikion spiritual knowledge and discrimination, 100 texts. John of Karpathosphor the encouragement of the monks in India who had written to him, 100 texts. Ascetic discourse sent at the request of the same monks in Indiast. Antony the Great and the Character of Men and on the Virtuous Life, 170 texts. This piece by Anthony was changed to an appendix in the English translation by Palmer, Sherard, and Ware, 1979, p. 327, because of their view that the language and the general idea is not explicitly Christian and may not have been written by Antony. <laughs> Volume 2 St. Theodoros the Great Ascetic Theodore of Edessa, A Century of Spiritual Texts Theoreticanst. Maximos the Confessor 400 Texts on Love, with a foreword to Elpidios the Presbyter 200 Texts on Theology and the Incarnate Dispensation of the Son of God written for Thalassios Various Texts on Theology, the Divine Economy, and Virtue and Vice on the Lord's Prayer Thalassios the Libyan on love, self-control, and life in accordance with the intellect written for Paul the Presbyter Street. John of Damascus and the Virtues and the Vicessa Discourse on Abba Philemon Street. Theognostos and the Practice of the Virtues, Contemplation and the Priesthood <laughs> Volume 3 St. Philotheos of Sinai 40 texts on watchfulness Ilias the Presbyter Anomic Anthology, Part 1 Anomic Anthology, Part 2 Anomic Anthology, Part 3 Anomic Anthology, Part I Theophanus the Monk the Ladder of Divine Gracest. Peter of Damascus Book I, A Treasury of Divine Knowledge Book 2, 24 Discoursest. Simeon the Metaphrast, Paraphrases of the Homilies of St. Macarius of Egypt Spiritual Perfection Prayer Patient Endurance and Discrimination The Raising of the Intellect Love The Freedom of the Intellect <laughs> Volume 4 Saint Simeon the New Theologian on Faith 153 practical and theological texts The Three Methods of Prayer attributed to him Nikita's Stithetos and the Practice of the Virtues, 100 texts On the Inner Nature of Things and on the Purification of the Intellect, 100 texts on spiritual knowledge, love and the perfection of living, 100 texts Theoliptos, Metropolitan of Philadelphia on inner work in Christ and the monastic profession Texts Nikephoros the monk on watchfulness and the guarding of the hearts. Gregory of Sinai and commandments and doctrines, warnings and promises, on thoughts, passions and virtues, and also on stillness and prayer, 137 texts Further texts on the Signs of Grace and Delusion, written for the Confessor Longinos, 10 texts On Stillness, 15 texts On Prayer, 7 texts. Gregory Palamasto the Most Reverend Nun Xenia A New Testament Decalogue In Defense of Those Who Devoutly Practice a Life of Stillness 3 texts on Prayer and Purity of Heart Topics of natural and theological science and on the moral and ascetic life, 150 texts The Declaration of the Holy Mountain in defense of those who devoutly practice a life of stillness. <laughs> volume 5 This volume has not yet been published in English translation. These are the contents of the modern Greek translation. 
Callistos and Ignatios the Xanthopoulos's method and precise canon for those who choose the hesychastic and monastic life, 100 chapters Callistos Angelicudis Kephalia chapters, 81 chapters Callistos Tilicudis presumed the same as Callistos Angelicudis on hesychastic practice Callistos Catavigiotis presumed the same as Callistos Angelicudis on union with God, and life of Theria Saint Simeon Archbishop of Thessaloniki chapters on the sacred and deifying Prayer Saint Mark the Gentle on the words that are contained in the Sacred Prayer Anonymous interpretation of Kyrie Ellison, Lord have mercy, Saint Simeon the New Theologian discourse on faith and teaching for those who say that it is not possible for those who find themselves in the worries of the world to reach the perfection of the virtues, and narration that is beneficial at the beginning. On the three ways of priest, Gregory of Sinai. Excerpts from the life of Saint. Maximos Capsocolivus All Christians must pray uninterruptedly Indices Topic Translations Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos, Sherard, Philip The Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 1. London, Faber & Faber. ISBN 0-571-11377-X. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos, Sherard, Philip The Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 2. London, Faber & Faber. ISBN 0-571-15466-2. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos, Sherard, Philip The Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 3. Faber & Faber. ISBN 0-571-17525-2. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos, Sherard, Philip The Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 4. Faber & Faber. ISBN 0-571-19382-X. Kavanos, Constantine The Philokalia, Love of the Beautiful. Institute for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies. ISBN 1-884729-79-7. Kavanos, Constantine The Philokalia, a second volume of Selected Readings Selected Readings from the Philokalia, Volume 2. Institute for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies. ISBN 1-884729-91-6. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos. The Philokalia, Complete Text. Retrieved 9 June 2014. See also Hesychasm Jesus Prayer Pustinia Hermit Pasius Velichkovsky Nepsis Topic Notes Topic Further reading Paschalis M. Kitromilides Philokalia's First Journey in Ideem, An Orthodox Commonwealth, Symbolic Legacies and Cultural Encounters in Southeastern Europe Aldershot, 2007 Variorum Collected Studies Series, CS 891 Topic. External links Quotes from the Philokalia at Orthodox Church Quotes the Philokalia digitized PDF